Hey everybody, it's Greg from Park Journey here. Hope you're all doing well. As you can see, I am here at Universal Studios Hollywood for another update. I know we were just here last week, uh, but a lot is changing very quickly at our uh, Southern California parks. Uh, so obviously we'll be doing more updates, uh, you know, more periodic updates. Uh, in this update, obviously we're gonna do Super Nintendo World. Uh, some new stuff has been added this week. Um, in addition to that, Horror Nights, um, definitely some stuff going on in the two mazes that are outside of the Curious George parking structure. Uh, the Parisian Courtyard uh, maze is starting to get some thematic elements on the facade. And then obviously we'll check the status of the mummy uh, maze as well, or the maze near the mummy. I'm not sure what that theme is yet. Um, but as you can see, I'm in a different spot. I always like to do these intros from a different spot this week. I always forget this little spot is here right next to Super Silly Funland. So um, I'm glad I remembered that it's here because you can get some great views uh, of Super Nintendo World and the rest of the park. So uh, stick around, check out the update. Uh, before I get into it, make sure you click below to subscribe. As always, it is greatly appreciated. All right, so here we are uh, taking a look at Super Nintendo World. This is from the spot where I did my introduction. Uh, you can see here uh, some more uh, elements have been added since last week. Uh, we've got some piranha plants there on the mountains. We've got some other things showing up. I'll go ahead and zoom in here, give you all a look. So there is our piranha plants. You can see them right there, right above the entrance and on the hills there. Uh, looks like we might be getting some, uh, those are either thwomps or they are uh, trash bins, but I think they are blue. Uh, so they looks like they're adding some more paint and stuff. And then as we scroll around here towards Bowser's Castle and the rest, you're starting to see um, again, a lot more elements being added to the land, which is amazing. And we'll just kind of scroll a little bit back and forth here. And then the workers here are working on those blocks there. And then again, our piranha plants as we move around. Looks like they're doing a little bit more work as well on the entrance area. So that is the warp pipe. So they're starting to add in a few more things here um, to the very outside of the land, which is great. Um, hopefully covering up this building at some point so you're not just walking from a studio into Super Nintendo World. But it's looking pretty amazing. And we'll keep heading down the hill to check out more uh, Super, Super Nintendo World as we move down. And then another angle of Super Nintendo World. Here again, you can see the piranha plants that have just been added. They're working on the blocks there. And we'll just kind of scroll through. Bowser's Castle starting to emerge a little bit from behind the scrims there. And then more of the mountains there. So yeah, it looks uh, coming along very nicely. And then we'll just move down the second level of the Starway here. A little bit of a closer look at Super Nintendo World as we move down. Again, looking pretty awesome. These uh, mountains and castles are starting to come into shape, which we knew they would. Doesn't mean it's not any less impressive looking. And then a look at what they're doing Looks like towards the entrance area. Again, they're starting to add in more elements. As we saw on the other parts, it started off with the drywall, the purple, and then they're working and then they remove it. And then we get what looks like that. So kind of impressive the way they do this. They know what they're doing for sure. Um, definitely a flurry of activity going on all around the park uh, these last few weeks. Then on the second level of the Starway here, just a little bit of a closer look. We're not having to use the zoom too much. Again, we have our piranha plants, our mountains, our blocks, Bowser's Castle here, more mountains. And then as we scroll back around the entrance area over here. Oh, you can't see it from this angle. That building's in the way, but you know what I mean. And then lastly, from the very lower end of the Starway, not quite to the lower lot, 
again, uh, not having to use the zoom too much to see this. Uh, so we have our mountains, we have our castle, and here we're starting to see the uh, thematic elements fade away a little bit, but there's one of our piranha plants, and then more of the work going on. And then finally, down here on the very lower lot, as I mentioned, you can start to see a little bit more work going on around the actual entrance of the land, in addition to the warp pipe and the mountains. So uh, definitely going to be interesting to see what uh, they add here. I have to take a look at what they did in Japan. I'm sure something quite similar. I would imagine some work going to happen on these walls as well. So it's not just you know, concrete walls and as you're entering you know, the awesome Super Nintendo world. I would love to see them do something on, on this as well to kind of cover up all that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But it's looking good. So over here on the Carriage George, or from the Carriage George parking structure, maze number two, you can see a little bit more work going on this week. In addition, they are cutting boards, and you can see a lot more wood there ready to be installed. Looks like we've got the beginnings of a facade here on this end. And then we'll look at the other part here, the other maze. And more wood and more wood over this way you know that seems like a lot of wood for two mazes hmm makes me almost wonder if there's going to be three over here i don't know how they would do the queues if there were i don't know if there's enough room for three mazes but that's a lot of wood i also see some uh, rigs here some uh, lighting rigs and other things as well and we'll move down the road a little bit here as well to get a better look and then we'll zoom in here it's like some kind of signage or facade being worked on over here yeah lots lots of ooh, look at a little bit of a it's gonna maybe a fountain or something here move down a little bit uh so i would assume maybe for inside one of the two mazes here. And I know that uh, John Murdy is here this week as well. I wonder if he's down here at all. Now they're definitely uh, talking about this thing. Interesting. So moving down a little bit here, a little closer look at the facade that we showed you last week. More wood and everything here. And then as we move around to maze number two, can see that some of the outside walls have been filled in since last week lots of work going on and then as i said the beginnings of a facade here for maze number two let's kind of pan around here at the little powwow going on over on this end hey guys thanks for all the hard work you're doing but yeah it's like we've got some uh can zoom in on this here and see if I can read anything. I'll grab a picture of it and see if I can see what it says on the box there. And just a little bit of a closer look on this end here. Definitely seems like some kind of well. It looks, looks like some lights going on flashing in it too. Uh, definitely something going on here. Testing of something. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty amazing actually. Really interesting to see what it, what uh, that final looks like. And then uh, another look at the facade from last week here. And maze number one. Definitely some uh, new stuff going on here. And just a quick look, I don't, I'm not gonna do the studio tour today. Um, over at the area where Falls Lake is and the Great, uh, Great Outdoors House was, um, I've been hearing some rumors about some stuff going on here for the studio tour and Halloween Horror Nights. So um, we'll, we'll keep looking at this area. I can't really see too much with uh, stupid Fast and the Furious in the way, but uh, just to take a look so at over that. Over here on the upper lot, the Parisian Courtyard Maze, we are starting to see some thematic elements showing up here. Some exposed brick on the facade. Looks great so far. And then just a look at what we have so far, what we've shown you already. But again, definitely a lot of progress going on again we're at the end of April now and while we've you know seen maze construction you know this early in the year the amount of thematic elements that we've seen 
for uh, these mazes so far this year already. Pretty impressive. Uh, I think the uh, safe to say that the budget has been increased for this year, <laughs> which is amazing. And then you can see here a little bit more of the mace has been installed here. Hopefully I uh, am talking over the music here. And then you can see a little bit more brick work going on right there above what is most likely the entrance for the maze. So uh, it doesn't look like either one of the two facades we've seen so far are flat facades. They are definitely going to have uh, lots of thematic elements going on in them. So on what is typically the exit for the Parisian courtyard maze, we're starting to see some black walls being installed here. Again, you can't really see anything too much right now, but uh, I'll check the other side as well. And as we saw on the upper lot maze and the mazes outside of Curious George, we are starting to see a facade and thematic elements. Well, we've seen the facade, but starting to see thematic elements on this facade as well. It looks like some brickwork going on all across. And then some windows, uh, some bars on the windows, things like that. Again, it just, just seems like these uh, themed elements are showing up earlier this year than normal which is kind of amazing, to be honest with you. And then it'll just kind of scroll through on the mummy maze here. And you can see they've added, I think they've added at least a couple more rooms here to the maze, which is nice. And then just a closer look at the mummy facade a little bit here. Can't see too much from the trees, but a little bit of the brickwork going on there. So one last thing I wanted to touch on, Halloween Horror Nights related, as you can see in front of Waterworld, there is currently no maze set up. Would not be a surprise if we do not get a maze in this spot this year, considering um, how far along everything else is. Um, but this is usually one of the last ones to start being built, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, at this point I would imagine that uh, they're probably not going to build one here, which is fine. So over here in Universal Plaza, they're setting up for something, some kind of ceremony, maybe a graduation, maybe some kind of party, not sure. Nothing, nothing major, probably just tonight and maybe this weekend, but uh, probably nothing too, too major going on. I'll look and see if I can tell what's on these signs, but yeah, it's just one of those random things. Somebody rented out Universal Plaza. So that event that's going on in Universal Plaza, it is the Kipstar Awards. Got no idea what that is, but there you go. There's your answer. So I know we uh, looked at the Super Nintendo store last week, um, but also we've got some new merchandise down here on the lower lot as well. Some new Universal Studios Hollywood shirts and some new glasses. So we've got Jaws and Kong and E.T. Back to the Future. They all look pretty amazing to be honest. Look at that. King Kong encounter. Back to the Future, The Ride, Jaws, and E.T. And then as far as the price, 10 bucks a piece, actually not bad at all. Uh, yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna have to pick those up at some point, because they're all kind of awesome. 10 bucks is not a bad price. On the other side, looks like we've got some new shirts. Very colorful. Hoodie, hats, and mugs. Looks like we've got some new magnets. Unfortunately, they just say Universal Studios, not Universal Studios Hollywood. Although the gate is definitely Universal Studios Hollywood's gate, so I guess that's something. And then our shirt here it says Universal Studios, but again, the uh, Arch there says Universal Studios Hollywood. And then our hoodies, zip up hoodies, which you all know by now I'm not a fan of, but they're nice looking. And then some water bottles. And then it looks like we're starting to see the Pride merchandise, even though Universal in Orlando has not said squat about what's going on out there. But yeah, actually some, some rather nice merch. Look at the hat. I do wish more parks would start getting fitted hats. 
but I do like that hat. Kind of a nice looking hat. Pastel colors. All right, so out here in City Walk, you can see work progressing on Toothsome. Uh, definitely a little bit more work done since last week here on the entrance. Looks like they're making maybe making some planters or something here. Kind of zoom in here a little bit to show you what's going on. They uh, are working on the inside. You can hear them pounding away. Um, it's you know early still. Looks like they're making some theming stuff here, which is great. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it's moving along. It's going quick. Up here on the top level, you can see a little bit more on the bricks uh, since last week, I believe. So yeah, it's looking really good. So moving down the road a little bit here on the upper level. Again, you can see a little wall there, uh, some cement, some more stuff. You can see here too, the uh, hard rock uh, on the doors is still there. So I'm assuming that is going to get taken care of at some point. You can see there as well. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know if uh, Universal does uh, little tributes to past things in their restaurants, but it'll see if, be interesting to see if when it opens, if there's any tributes to hard rock. All right, everybody, so that's going to wrap it up for our Universal Studios Hollywood update. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, lots of stuff going on here at the park. We'll have, as I said at the beginning, we'll have to be doing more periodic updates um, over the next few months. Uh, lots of stuff going on with both Halloween Horror Nights and Super Nintendo World. Um, so take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon.